Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Slackers Undercover video. I am your robot fighting host for today, Mad Dog. I'm bringing you some more Robocraft, a build episode. Also guys, don't forget if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, it makes a lovely sound. And if you uh, really like the video, at the end we'd uh, appreciate if you hit that like button. And if you want to support us, Please, please, share the content. Help us expand the Slackers universe. Hello guys, how are you all doing today? Hopefully you're having a lovely day today. I figured we'd uh, start this new series that I'm doing with uh, a favorite build of mine. Well, favorite game I would like to highlight. But as you can see, we're on Wing Gundam. And if y'all have seen that episode already of new bot tryouts, he didn't make the cut. So we are unfortunately going to have to dismantle him. I'm sorry, my friend. You've served us well. But on to new and better things. So in today's episode, we're going to make one of the, the Borderlands 1 vehicle. And we're going to check first to see if there's a car that's already somewhat the shape that we want. No, I'm not liking any of those so far. That just looks wrong. Interesting. That looks close. I think we're going to go with that. And let's go to combat for that one as well. Yeah. And we'll leave that color scheme for now because we're going to change it to what we want. So we're going to be building the Borderlands 1 car. So here we go, guys. Uh, in this episode, the uh, materials that we will need for this build will be one, a body uh, made up of various cubes and sizes. We will also be needing four wheels. We're going to be using the epic wheels here, the Geo Terrain. I had to buy two more of those, so I had to sell a few more parts to make sure I had enough for this episode. Uh, we will be using the thrusters, the really big ones here, the cheetahs. And we will also be equipping this thing with the legendary chain gun, the chain shredder. And we will also be putting the... where is it at? There you are, my friend. A rail impaler, the legendary laser railgun. A scope, you know the deal. We'll also be putting on various uh, shield bits and pieces here and there. But uh, yeah, let's start with our build here. All right, we need to make sure to get this front shape right because that is the most important thing here. And I like what they're doing right here. I really do. I think that looks pretty good. The only modification I will make will be right here. Uh, yeah, I like it. Yeah, that looks nice. Yes. And keep in mind, guys, if you're building along with me, you feel free to do whatever you want, guys. You don't have to stick to whatever I do. In fact, I, I'd, I'd really appreciate if you uh, explore the horizons. Let's see what you can come up with. And, of course, I forgot to put uh, mirror mode on, so... I'm making this more of a challenge for myself already. <laughs> uh, but when 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 don't we make this a challenge for ourselves? Right, let's get rid of all this. Want to make sure everything's even. Once we have it even on both sides. Okay, so we got rid of that block as well. And that one. And that one. It looks like we got rid of that whole row. Also, yeah, we did. 
Let's go ahead and do that. Alrighty guys, let's turn mirror mode on before we forget. Don't make uh, silly rookie mistakes like I do. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go ahead and just strip the entire sides because that's way too much information in the way there. We're going to keep this nice and simple and as close to Borderlands as we can. Borderlands has always been one of my favorite games. I just love the Borderlands series. I'm looking forward to Borderlands 3 coming out. Cannot wait for that. Also, Dust Bunny and Clunkin just did their week long of streaming for uh, Borderlands The Hunt. That was a nice, nice, nice week of streaming. Those guys did a good job there. Make sure you. Make sure, guys, in the comments down below, you give them a shout out. Tell them how good of a job they did. We'd appreciate you for that. But now, let's see. We need to make the cockpit right here. Yes. Uh, actually, first, let's see how big this chain gun is that we have to put on here. Because I want to put it right here on the front. Oh, that is a big mamma jamma. Oh, lordy. That is huge. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Well then, uh, we're going to have to make this uh, front end a lot bigger than I thought. So first things first, we're going to have to... Well, let's switch back the cubes because I don't want to hurt your eyes with all this red stuff brilling around everywhere. Alright. Let's go get rid of that too. And that. And let's go ahead and just add on here. Go ahead and just add on here. That looks nice. Let's go ahead and get rid of that too. We need some blocks there. Okay, I like it. Now so let's see. You're still going to be giving us issues? Turn mirror mode off so that way it's not... Hmm. I may have to do this reverse of what I wanted to do, but... Nah, we'll make this work. We'll make it work, guys. Don't worry. You can do whatever you want in your build. Whatever you want. Alright. Let's go ahead and get rid of all that for now. And we're going to have to just go ahead and get rid of all this. So we're going to have to extend this out quite a bit here. And look at me already making this hard on myself. Don't forget, guys. Hit that end button. Mirror mode. Mirror mode is your best friend. It helps you through all the tough times. Cuts down on all that downtime of putting extra blocks. And then it's just... It's just so upsetting when you can't get something, something even. You know? You know what I mean? Alrighty guys, let's see what we got here. Turn off mirror mode. Wow, that takes up a lot of room, doesn't it? Hmm. You know what? I may just switch. Ooh. Okay, why were we in Forge? I wanted to do this. Okay. We can at least do this. But it looks like we're going to have to make that front end a lot. You know what? Instead of making the front end longer, we'll just go ahead and just add some height to that. And of course, again, guys, I need to take my own advice. Don't forget to put on that mirror mode. Your mirror mode is your best friend. Helps you through the toughest of times. Uh, in this game, I, I don't know what I would do without mirror mode. I don't know how the, uh, the veteran guys at this game used to do it. Alright. Oh. oh, wrong one. We decided we're going to switch to this, this guy right here. 
Alrighty guys. It's already looking good. Let's put it right there. There we go. Right in the center. I like it. Awesome. Alrighty. I know you're supposed to have two of these guns, but we're just going to stick with the one. So let's see. We need to make sure. That it looks right here in the front. Can't be getting this shape wrong. If we get this shape wrong, we're not going to have such a good time. All right. It's looking nice. Yeah. I think they're right there. Yeah. We'll do. And we'll do one more line in. Gotta make sure there's a nice, nice divide here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Don't forget, guys. Again, mirror mode. It's your best friend in the world. Makes all the problems go away. All right. And let's put some nice, some nice edges on this thing. No, nope, that's not the way I wanted you to go, you little rascal. <laughs> all right. Let us get our wheels on here in the front. Got to make sure we get that placement right. If we don't get that placement right, guys, we're just not going to have a good time. All right, we're just looking for replacement right now. We're not looking for looks. We're going to work on that in a minute. Well, those guys aren't going to get along, are they? I guess we'll have to just lower it down a little bit. Which is fine. No problems with doing that. We can do anything we want. This is our build. We can make it however we want to. Alright, let's check. See if that's enough clearance now. There we go. There's our nice wheels. Oh, those are nice and big. I like that. All right. Yes, that looks that looks nice. All right. Now let's let's straighten up these edges. Got to make it nice and pretty, guys. It's got to look good. If it doesn't look good, then. We aren't doing our job right. All right. Place a little block there. There we go. And let's place some more of these triangle bits right there. I'm going to take a look at my picture right here just for a quick reference. Yeah. For the most part, that looks good. Need to make sure that we get our block placement above it though. Okay. Looks good so far. We need to go one more. There we go. That looks nice. Gotta make sure we get this looking nice and smooth. Don't want any of those rough edges, guys. Now, what block looks good to me there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll do nicely. All right, let's not forget guys to uh, make sure we put those blocks down this way as well. 
Yeah, I figured that might be in the way. But there we go. Right there is fine. Right there is fine. There we go. Gotta make sure it looks like looks like it connects right there. Alright. I think we're gonna we might use the uh, these big shield bits right here. Let's just see how we can connect this thing. There we go. I think the only issue we're going to have is that it's going to be in the way of that. Yep. Yeah. That's a shame. Yeah, it's only in the way of that. Let's see, if we remove all this... Can we hook it right here? It's still gonna... Still not have a good time, huh? I really like these shield bits if I can right here. Let's see if we can move it far forward and get what we desire. Alright, let's see if that did the trick. We may just have to go one more up, guys, for the chain gun. There we go. Now this isn't going to be exact, like I said, guys. I wanna, I wanna get this as exact as I can, but we'll see what what is allowed. Think one forward, just so that way we have room to put some cubes under there. All right, now let's let's connect this to the uh, connect this over here. All right, here we go. Still have mirror mode on. Don't forget to do that, guys. Very important. And luckily for us, this part right here should fit. Fit nicely. There we go. There we go. Come on. Oh, but you're not going to play nice, are you? It's a shame. That's a shame. Would have been nice if we could have had that connect right there, but unfortunately, guys, we just can't have it. Maybe that'll count as touching it. Who knows? Who knows? All right. Oh, we're gonna have to go up with this one. Okay, that's fine. Whatever it lets us do, I have no problems with that. Alright, and then we're going to go this way. Oh. There we go. Okay, let's make sure we do a cube that way first. Or you know what? Go ahead and do that first. Then we'll do a cube. Let's 
interesting that it won't let us do a cube there. I'm not sure if that's going to count as touching though, if I don't... No? Hopefully that counts. I don't know. I would have liked that more secured on there, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. Alrighty. Well, let's fill this up with some locks. There we go. That looks nice. Pretty much looks like we can just make this go out here to the back side. Wherever we want the wheels to be on this back side. And let's not forget to raise this up, guys. We needed to raise this up one more, so let's go ahead and do that now. That way we don't have to worry about it not fitting. There we go. It's looking nice already. I like it. Yeah, I figured I would do do a Borderlands vehicle because <clears throat> excuse me, pardon me you guys. My throat's a little 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 messed up on me right now. Been a long day at work and uh, just needed some water there. I uh, feel a lot better. There we go. All right. Now, let's see if we can get this chain gun on here that we wanted. All right. There we go. That looks nice right there. Right in the middle. I like it. All right. Let us put mirror mode back on. Don't forget, guys, mirror mode is your best friend. And we need to put some cubes right in there. There we go, it looks nice. And let's do some corner pieces there. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Let us see. There's another shield bit we can put right here just to protect our front of our ship right there. Hmm. That one doesn't work. Let's see if this one does. There we go. Let's turn off mirror mode real quick so that way it doesn't freak out. Yeah, there we go guys. That looks nice. Nice and sturdy. Just the way we like it. Let's go and take those bits off. See if we can't fit a nice... Yeah, I knew that would be too close. But that'll be nice right there. Some extra protection for those wheels, guys. And of course, as usual, I forgot to turn on mirror mode. Don't do like me, guys. Mirror mode is your best friend. Don't forget that. <clears throat> oh, we have that upside down. Oh, that's easy fix right there. That's an easy fix right there. All right. Now let's 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 concentrate on getting this this back part done. <clears throat> there we go. Just need to fix this design a little bit. <clears throat> All righty, guys. It looks like we're going to have another 2,000 CPU uh, design again. 
We just love doing those 2000 CPU designs. We can't help it. We cannot help it. All right. Let us get this block placement. Alright, I think about there would be good. Let's go ahead and eliminate some of that. And let's get these wheels on there. Yeah. At least, at least to there, guys. Right there looks nice. And we didn't have mirror mode on again. We really need to stop doing that, guys. <laughs> we hurt ourselves so bad so many times not putting on mirror mode. My apologies, guys. Let us correct this situation right now. Don't worry, guys. It's very easily fixed, so no worries. Yes, all that was done. Okay, that's nice. All right, mirror mode now. Now we can do this properly. And what we're looking for here is just proper placement. You gotta make sure, find the, make that that hard decision where we want the uh, wheel placement. Take a few more out. <clears throat> there we go. That looks good right there. And place those wheels. Simple as that. Simple as that. Now that we have that wheel placement, we can go ahead and get rid of all those cubes. Alright. Go ahead and get rid of those. There we go. That's looking good. Reference my picture one more time, guys. All right, we need to make like a junction box right here. First, let's connect this to the to the actual car. There we go. Buggy, you know, whatever you want to call it. Looks nice. We need to go out a few more though. There we go. Remember, you can do this however you want. Whatever you want to do. This is your design. It's just the way I'm doing it. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that looks that looks correct right there. We'll just go ahead and do one more row. Right there. There we go. And one in. Actually, we'll do it. We'll put one of these in there. There we go. Yeah, that looks nice. And put those cubes right there. I like it. Don't forget, guys, make that nice and even on this side. <clears throat> All right, now we need hopefully these reach. Hmm, maybe the three D ones will. No, not quite long enough. And do one of those right there though. That looks good.
go ahead and put that right there. There we go. Let's go ahead and get this other laser on here, guys, because I want to make sure that we get all the weapons we want on here. So if we don't get the weapons on there, what's the point, right? Gotta be able to return fire. Yeah, we need to make that a little higher. That's fine. That is perfectly fine. Let us <clears throat> Let's go and get rid of those. Make this all one one solid block right here. Think one more how to do it. Then we don't have to worry about chain gun blocking it. There we go. All right. Let us see about this. Not that mirror mode real quick. There we go. And actually, if I'm doing this for correctly, I actually need to put this this block out to the side. I forgot the cannon is mounted on the side. Actually, it looks like it's mounted on the yeah on the the left side here. So let's go ahead and just extend this out. Send this out right here like so. There we go. One more. One more makes perfect. And we're purposely doing this crooked, guys. We don't want uh, want the other side to match. All right. Now we just need to place a few cubes in here. There we go. I like it. And a whole more set right here. Nice finishing touches on that side. Okay. There we go. Now let's go ahead and get this laser put on. It's an impressive laser, isn't it guys? Look at that. Look at that. Okay, right, let's let's just take take a second to look back at this. Oh yeah, there we go. It's starting to come together, guys. <clears throat> Alright, now we need to uh, dig this out right here, so we can make this look like a proper, proper sitting area for it. All that right there. We don't need all that, all that extra baggage on the back. Still got to figure out how to put the thrusters on this thing anyway, so. Alright. We're going to fix these corners though, real quick here. Gonna make them look nice and round. There we go. There we go. I like it. Yeah, see, doesn't that look nice? Alright. And now to make the inside look nice, we need. Do that. There we go. Now it looks like there's a nice little sitting area right there. And then now we need to make the, the cockpit right here. That's easily done. There we 
we go. Don't forget, guys, mirror mode. Mirror mode is your best friend. At this point, we need to start using it. There we go. Oh, let's turn mirror mode off one more time. There we go. Now, now we're ready for it. All right. Let us see. How do we want to go about this? We need to do two rods right here. And what still happens, we have two long rods left. Or do we want to do short rods? Let's see what the short rods look like. Are the long rods going to be too long? No, they won't be. That'll work out nicely. Alright, let's go ahead and put some cubes right there. Okay. Let's get these rods right there. Then we'll go ahead and get these nice curvy ones right here. There we go. There we go. Isn't that starting to look nice? Just like just like a cockpit? There we go. Let's go and do one more back there. Let's go ahead and put these there. There we go. It certainly looks the part, doesn't it? All right, now we just need to make sure we get these side bits nice and correct. All right, let us. All right, we need to go ahead and use this piece right here. Works every time. When in doubt, use that sloopy piece right there. All right, that looks nice. There we go. Let's go ahead and make make it along right here too. <laughs> go ahead and just continue that. So that way it looks like it belongs. Looks like it belongs. Oh, lost my picture. Gotta have that reference point. All right, we need to go out one more this way. And I think that'll be perfect right there. Yep, because that was gonna be one too many right there. There we go. That looks nice. Yeah. So yeah, Dust Bunny and Clunkin just uh, finished their week of streaming uh, the hunt. They did a pretty good job on that. I enjoyed watching that. Still feel like there's something we could do here. I know what we could do to make that look better. We can do that right there. We can get rid of those. We're gonna put those right there like that. There we go, that looks nice. I like that. There we go. Don't forget guys, you can do whatever you want on this build. Whatever you want, whatever you can imagine, you can build. Go ahead and make sure that that has plenty of plenty of connection points right there. We don't want someone just knocking this these wheels off right away. Go ahead and do that to the front too. There we go. That looks nice. 
Looks like it has a nice little axle right there. We're gonna do that over here as well. I like that. Looks nice. There we go. Alright. I know this backside isn't 100% correct, guys, but you know. We'll have to just go, go from there. Alright, let's see. Let's go ahead. We can do something better with this. Same here. We can do something better. Do something better. Now we needed a cube there. Alright, let's go ahead and get these again. Now we need a cube there. Yeah. I think a cube would look nice there. There we go. Yeah, let's go ahead and get another inclined right there. There we go. Looks nice. It's nicely protected. <clears throat> Alright, let's go ahead and change this color real quick. Let's see. What if there was a paint all button? Hmm. <clears throat> Interesting. I thought you painted one point, it would paint the entire thing. Oh, there we go. You gotta right click. There we go. It's gotta right click. There we go. We'll add some other colors on here in a second. I just wanted to get a quick peek and see what that looked like. All right. Now let's switch back. We need some more rods here. Let's see, what can we do? Nah, not the 3D rods. We just want the diagonal. Diagonal's good enough. Looks like we need to trim some some fat off of this vehicle though. It's a little heavy. <clears throat> right down here is where we'll do that at. It doesn't need all this down here. In fact, we can do one more. There we go. One more row. Yeah, we'll go as far as right here. There we go. Because we need to make sure we have enough room for the thrusters as well. <clears throat> Can't forget that, guys. Gonna need that speed. In fact, let's go ahead and get those things on right now so we don't forget about them. Alright. I just saw nice spot for it to work. Hmm. Oh, that's right, because it's not even on the sides. Well then, let us, let's, let's just put it right there. There we go, it looks nice right there, right? There we go. Alright, let's make a nice little area right here.
There we go. That should be big enough for that. Alright, one more thruster right there. There we go. Oh yeah, that's speed boost. That's a nice speed boost right there. That's that's all we need right there. That's all we need. Let's let's make this look a little nicer, right? Some nice inclines right there. There we go. I like that. And let's go ahead and just make a lower half to this. You know, give it a little more, a little more protection. We get these corner pieces right here. There we go. That looks nice. Get some more cubes right here. And then we can do this nice little bit right here. All the way back. There we go. There we go. That looks nice. Alright. Now all we need to do is just connect these pieces right here. And we'll be all set. Right there, like that. That there, just like that. And that piece right there, just like that. There we go. We can do better than that, guys. Come on. There we go. That looks better. There we go. All right. I think that's it right there guys I think that's it right there actually you know what we can do do one better right there go ahead and close that up like that that looks nice there we go that looks good right there and straighten out any of these edges we need to I think that looks pretty good right there. I do say so myself. Let's check this picture one more time just to make sure. Oh yeah. That looks good to me. Let's take this for a test drive real quick guys. Let's see how it handles. That turns nice. Alright. Well, this will be for long long range shooting anyway. If anything's up close, we'll switch to the chain gun and tear them to shreds. Oh! <laughs> oh, that handle's nice. I like that. Oh! <laughs> Got a little air there. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is... This, this machine is beautiful. Oh. <laughs> of course, we'd have to flip right there.
I think there's just one more little thing I want to do right here on the edge. And I think I'll be happy with this. Let's hope we have enough CPU left to do what I want to do. <clears throat> then we'll go, we'll, uh, we'll tweak this paint job real quick and then we'll go take it into a test match. How much do these shield bits cost? 22. Yeah. We just don't have enough guys. Yeah, it's unfortunate. But what we can do is fix this little bit right here. Oh. Gotta have the right paint. <clears throat> Alright, switch back to cubes. Get this incline right here. Get that correct. Also go ahead and get that correct as well. There we go. I like that. It looks nice. And we can go ahead and put some of these here right here. There we go. Give it a little more flair. There we go. Fix that. There we go. That looks nice. Do the same thing over here. There we go. And that is it, guys. Alright, let's, let's let's fix this paint job. We gotta get a little orange in there. Gotta get a little orange in there. Let's see. Right, pick a spot and choose. Pick the orange. Weapons orange? Yes, there we go. How about the rods? Let's see what the rods look like orange. Oh, I think I like that. There we go. That looks good. Go ahead and make this bit right here. There we go. This piece right here. Nice and orange. I think we'll go ahead and do two stripes right here down the sides too. That look good. Oh, this is looking better already. There we go. Go ahead and continue that up here. Get those orange too. There we go. I like it. Let's go ahead and just make that whole, whole cockpit right there orange. Why not? This is our bot, we can do whatever we want with it. Just like you, right there at home. You can build it however you want. However you want. Let's get that out of the way real quick. Make that a little easier to paint. All right. Now let's put that thruster back. There we go. Alright. Back to orange. There we go. Okay, complete that all the way around.
All right. Anywhere else we need orange. I feel like those, the shield bits should be orange too. That looks like a Borderlands paint job, if I do say so myself. Yeah. Let's, yeah, let's go ahead and just continue this right here. Right there. Get that out of the way real quick. Continue that stripe right down the back. There we go. There we go. Now that looks like it blocks. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and do a double stripe. Why not? This is a this is ours. Our bot. We can do what we want with it. There we go. I like that. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good right there. Looks good right there. There we go. There we go. Now it looks like the paint job is carried throughout the whole thing. There we go. I'd say that is it, folks. That looks good right there. Oh, we need to put our thrusters back on. Almost forgot. Almost forgot. There we go. That looks good. Alrighty. I just don't like that right there. Let us let's let's do this block right here. Let's do this block right here. That'll look nicer. But we need to put it in the right color. It's supposed to be red right there. There we go. That looks a little nicer to me. Alrighty guys. Let us go test this out real quick in a match and give it a proper name as well. Catch a ride. There we go. I like it. All right, let us get in here. Let's go ahead and test it out in a AI match. Let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. No pressure at all. Death match. Kill the enemy team to win. The first team to reach the target total wins. The battle for Tyhonium Canyon has begun. Well, there with that. There we go. Well then. <laughs> I said we our car got pretty messed up, didn't it? Let's get over here so that way we can heal up. There we go. That worked out nicely. Finish him off with the chain gun. There we go. That worked out nicely. Look at that. Doing tricks. Look at that. That works out nice. Alright, 
this retreat back here for no minute. Get rid of your gun. Kill you. Finish you off. There we go. That's nice. <laughs> I think I'm going to like this design very much. Finish him off with the chain shredder. There we go. Oh yes. Come on. Alright. Let's reverse for a minute here. There we go. Oh, this design's gonna work out nicely, I think. Gonna work out nicely. Let's get back over here to our teammates. him a new one. There we go. There you go. <laughs> that works out nicely. See, having several connection points so that way the wheels will stay on longer. That's good. nicely yeah making sure to park at a at an angle like this so that way the shield bits will actually protect my vehicle See if we can see this guy one more time. I will say our chain gun gets sh shot off a little too easily. A little too easily. Let's see if we can't make a tweak to that real quick. Let's see if we can't improve that. That's nice. Right, there we go. Alright, some more shield bits. Another melee. Yeah, let's go back into the edit real quick. Let's see if we can improve that front right there. See if we can't improve it. I guess we could start off by taking off this front bit right here. Doing cubes there instead. And make that red. Choose orange. And let's get that shield bit back on there. Let's see. See you right there, right? There we 
There we go. Now that actually looks like it's like it's protecting it. All right. And we have a few more cubes to work with now, so might as well, right? Make some improvements here. Let's go ahead and do this too. Just because we can. You know what? Let's go ahead and switch it back. Let's let's keep it orange. Yeah. Keep it orange. There we go. And then let's go ahead and switch that paint. There we go. How much health do these shield bits have? Let's check real quick. Let's check that real quick. 89,000 base health. That's that's a lot of health, so I'm going to say that's going to be good now. Let's go ahead and test drive it one more time. Make sure that that shield bit isn't dragging the ground. There we go. See, that's what I like to see in an all-terrain vehicle that I build. It can go anywhere I want it to. Anywhere I want it to. Alright, that is nice. No problems going up the ramp here. Clear that with ease. Alright. I'm going to call that successful, guys. A lot more successful than the Wing Gundam build that we did. <laughs> These servers sometimes just like to take their sweet time. I just... He's connecting that. I swear they just sleeping on the job sometimes, these servers. <laughs> Taking their time. Alright, I think I think that's it to the paint job. Let's go ahead and go back into one more one more AI match. Make sure that that final tweak is what we needed for make sure our our chain gun isn't protected as long as we can. <laughs> this is team deathmatch. Kill the enemy. I really wish we could put it back one more, but reach the target total wins. Just not meant to be. Battle for Spitzer Dam has begun. The heck was that? That was quite an interesting design there. Well, Finish him off. There we go. Worked out nicely. going anywhere there. There we go. Alright. Looks like that shield bit is helping. She's they come around the corner. There we go.
get rid of your legs. There we go. That works nicely. Let's go ahead and charge up, peel up our weapon. Get rid of that leg. There we go. All right. Oh, just missed that shot. Finish him off. Come on. There we go. There we go. Of course, in a normal match, you wouldn't be able to sit still like that. People would tear me apart. Look at that. Those nice tricks we can do. Actually, gonna get destroyed. I think. Let's see if we can't get out of there. Escape with one wheel. <laughs> that is great. That is wonderful. Well, we did get out of there until we ran into that guy. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get some revenge, shall we? There we go. That felt good. No legs for you. And no cannon for you. Well, all you can do is just stand there. There we go. Let's go ahead and get out of there ourselves. That's great. Guess it was a good idea to do all steering tires. Look at that. Look at that. Second highest damage. Eight kills, six assists. I'm going to call that robot a very big success compared to the other one. Very big success. There's almost nowhere it can't go. I love it. <laughs> Alrighty guys, in the next episode we will take it into an actual PvP battle and see how well it does. But let's see what we get in these loot boxes. Oh, that's nice. I can always use some more dusters. And some light cubes. A silver crate. Oh, nice. Another laser. Lasers are always good. Alrighty, guys. That is Catch a Ride. <laughs> yeah. 
it's not 100% exact, but it is fairly close. I enjoyed that build thoroughly. Uh, let me know what you think of the build in the uh, comments down below. And also, the reason why I'm speaking this way and doing this episode this way is I was inspired by Bob Ross, watching him paint and everything on Netflix the other day. I figured, why not do a build type episode like that? So let me know down in the comments down below if you enjoyed that, and I will do more in the future. And uh, yeah, this is uh, Mad Dog signing off. And don't forget, guys, to howl at the moon with me as we part ways for today. Hopefully, y'all have a blessed rest of the day. Oh, oh.